Hello and welcome to another video on my channel where today I am going to be showing you how to build custom weapons and war machines in Minecraft. So, let's get into it. So, let's uh, walk into our weaponsmith slash weapon storage. Um, and right ahead, you see katanas. Now, there are two versions with this. Um, the first one, I used an end rod and then the two iron bars. And then the second one, I used a lightning rod and the two iron bars. Um, I think I actually prefer the end rod because the handle is much slimmer and it just looks like what a normal katana would look like so i think the end rod uh version of this is better moving on to the second weapon rack we have a sword made out of a sign for the handle um and two iron bars bars for the blade um this one this sword is kind of a weird one it's a double-edged sword um with the copper as the blades, and the end rod in the middle for the handle. In the third weapon rack, we have spears. Um, now, the first one right here is two end rods for the handle, and one iron bar for the top. However, I preferably prefer this one, um because it's much slimmer and candles actually go for a pretty convincing um, spear tip which is pretty cool. Alright, in the fourth weapon rack area we have the um, balls on chains and the maces. Um, now these both have the end rod and uh, lightning rod variant. Um, I think on the, on this kind of palette, I prefer the lightning rod. Um, however, it is pretty cool still if you use an end rod. Over here with the maces, it's just the same design, um, but without the chain. And you got the end rod and the wither skeleton skull and the lightning rod and the wither skeleton skull. The last uh, weapon display area in here is the wizardy sorcery staff area. It's it's got uh, these two designs right here with the end rod and the conduit, and the lightning rod and the conduit. The conduit kind of floats a few pixels up from any block. So it gives like, it lo it just looks like it's a floating orb, which is pretty cool. The, the staffs behind it is, I think, more for a sorcerer. Um, this is um, a lightning rod, a black candle, um, and a wither skeleton skull. And the other one is an end rod, a white candle, and a skeleton skull. Now, that was, um, th that would have been a really quick video if I just left it at that, but I do have something more for you. At the beginning of the video, I did say War Machines as well. So, now, I'm going to go over to the place where I have built the war machines. Okay, so I have built four war machines in total, and I am going to start with this one. This is a ballista. So I did build this build this diagonally um, because I do believe it is easier to build um, a ballista diagonally. Um, it really helped me with the um, like the string part 
which I used oak fence gates for. Um, and I did use a grindstone down here. This it like this adds some depth if, uh, because it's not just using another stripped spruce log. Um, it's actually adding some depth, and it's good for mechanical things. Over here, you have the ammo for the ballista. These arrows are made out of lightning rods and gray candles. These are kind of like the spear design I showed you earlier, but instead they're used for arrows for the ballista. The second war machine build is a cannon. I used a grindstone again for the pillar um, like structure to just put the cannon up a little bit from the um, from the wheeled cart just to add a bit more height to the build. I used spruce trapdoors and spruce signs for um, some wooden support on the edges. It actually also adds depth, which is cool. I also used polished blackstone buttons for more depth in the back of the cannon. And for the metallic structure of the actual cannon, I used polished deep slate. For the cart bit, I used spruce slabs, spruce trapdoors. For the wheels, I used oak trapdoors and a stone button. For the side of the cannon, we have a um, bomb made out of a black stone wall and a black candle. And then we have some small grenades made out of red candles. The third war machine is a battering ram. I used a ton of um, chains for this build to add a look of uh, like this. This build could actually be really stable. I used levers flipped upwards um, as a link for the chain, so, um, and it looks pretty good actually as a like little hook that the chain goes onto that connects the battering ram and the chain together. I used some extra support with um, these levers flipped this way with chains going into a grindstone, and another chain going up. So this battering ram looks really stable. For the wheels, I didn't just do an oak trap door and a stone button. That would make it look like it's not very, like, supported, and because it has, like, really big pillars, and it's a, probably a heavy battering ram, I went with bigger wheels. So I... I did. Th I made the wheels with polished blackstone, uh, not polished deep slate stairs. The platform right here is made with spruce signs, spruce slabs, and spruce trap doors. The fourth war machine is a siege tower. At the front, we have three levers um, attached with some chains for pulling the siege tower. I went with the same wheel design for this one since this is a heavier build, like the battering ram. At the back here, there is a ladder going up um, and a door to get into it. Now there, I used barrels um, right here. Now it does look like there's just some like iron support, but you can also use this as some storage maybe for um, some weapons. And if you go up here, there is a platform that flips out and you can attack the enemy wall of whatever enemy you're attacking. Uh, the roof is a circular one to 
contrast to the square build of the siege tower. And I also used some spruce fence f fences for the windows instead of glass because that would kind of look stupid. Um, yeah. And I also, on the outside, used spruce trap doors and signs for extra depth. And on the corners, I did sp spruce fences to just round out the build a bit because it looked really square. Thank you for watching my video on these custom weapons and war machines. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me with my motivation to get these videos out to you guys. So, till next time, see ya!